We are live. We are live. <laughs> All right. Happy Hobbit Day. I'm pretty sure we'll see it, say it again a few times, but just to get the ball rolling, we are here having a good old celebration. We're going to have some Hobbit's weed, a few church water and pipes, some Hobbit's drink. <laughs> she just named it. <laughs> Hobbit we, drink. We name it Hobbit drink. Yeah. And I'm going to get the computer going here so I can see ourselves and read your guys' comments. All right. Howdy. John is in the house. Hi, John. And John is in the house. Hey, Johnny. For and, and I'll repeat this later. For the ones that I'm sending some stuff, there's Matthew too. Um, it's coming. I'm a little delayed here on shipping things, but your things are coming in the mail soon. So hi, Matthew. Happy fall to all. Did, did fall start already? Did fall start? I don't even know. It's, it doesn't feel like fall here, let no, me tell you. Not. It is hot, like melting hot here almost every day. So definitely in Cape Coral, we haven't had the fall start yet. Why is this so, um, it's, it's very light. I can barely see it. Who else is in the house? Um, Matthew, John, and Johnny. All right. Well, I'm going to start loading my pipe to get the, the ball rolling. So like I mentioned, it's Hobbit's Day today. That means there it's Bilbo and, um, and Frodo Baggins' birthday on this fictional um, creation by they are talking Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit we have the Hobbit playing in the background and um, and we're just celebrating by having some Hobbit weed if you guys don't know what that is we'll share the the recipe the most kind of the one that's online for most people to use and we have some other Middle Earth tobaccos here ready also to go so i'm gonna use this one first oh, oh you got stuck <laughs> yeah i'm gonna start with the with the church warden from um missouri Meerschaum. i think they call this one the wizard yeah this is the wizard so this is the biggest one they have so far Ooh. what are you gonna choose for pipe oh, that's interesting this is the one that you were trying that <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. Do you want me to try this one? Did I trick you? <laughs> Did you want me to use this one? If you want, you can you can warm up with something smaller if you like. Yes. <laughs> All right. You, because that's the easy thing. You, I'm gonna go with what you had yeah. last last week. That's from Tom. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you guys hear us okay? You know what? I forgot to put the little microphone we usually put, but they probably hear us good. I hope so. My, my phone was kind of frozen, so I wasn't sure uh -huh. what was going on. Yeah, and this is also, you see how it is kind of kind of fussy? Yeah. Kind of hard to see. All right, so we have Billy. Hello, Billy. Hi, Billy. Are these mojitos that we're drinking? Uh, no, it, no it's, it's the Hobbit's drink. <laughs> it's yeah. pineapple mojitos. Tell them what we're drinking. Go ahead. We're drinking pineapple mojitos. That's what it is. All right, there you go. I didn't squeeze the pineapple, by the way. You were right, Matthew. So they are some kind of mojito <laughs> here. Mojito, yeah. Happy yeah. Hobby Day, Smarty Bob. And guys, forgive me if I don't say your name right. I I can barely see the screen. I don't know why it's so see. light. I don't know what happened. Well, I have to put it the other way around. All right. So I can see. It finally stopped raining in Alabama. What, uh, what part of Alabama did you say you were in Decatur? Is that, is that where you're at, Billy? All right, you turn to fill your bowl. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little bit of this. Oh man, that's refreshing. I think that is the Hobbit's drink. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they will drink on a day like this. If you guys would like the recipe, I can I can give it to you. It's very simple. Hey there, uh, Glum Chum. It's a, it's a Matt. I think I think it's Matt. How are you? I'm glad you joined us again. 
Are you celebrating Hobbit Day there, Matt? Are you a, a Hobbit, a Lord of the Rings fan? I haven't smoked this pipe in a while. Oh, so you're mm, because of the pipe. Yeah, yeah it's Matt. He, Billy says that hobbits listen to Led Zeppelin too. Oh. Tell me a Ooh. song. Tell me a song by Led Zeppelin that the hobbits will listen to. Billy, tell us. Signa Maltoni, how are you, Signa Maltoni? From Rhode Island. Billy's gonna tell us a song that the hobbits listen to from Led Zeppelin. I'm interested to know. Oh, honey, I think you have. Oh, no, no. What's your name? There it is. There it is. Did he get us a song? Ram Stairway to Heaven? Ramble On? Is that the song? Ramble On? Over the Hills and Far Away. But that sounds like something. Hobbit like Stairway to Heaven. That's what <laughs> hey, I said. Hey Tristan, how are you? Yes, yes, Matthew, I'm doing the college football every week. I'm gonna try to do it until the college football season ends every Saturday at nine in the morning. Like I said, um we we're next weekend we're gonna be in Richmond, so I may have to do maybe a shorter version without the blackboard and all that, the whiteboard. Uh, but um, yeah, that is the plan, to do it every morning at 9. If I don't, I will let you guys know ahead of time. You know, I was going to, I'm sorry, go I ahead. almost interrupted you. No, go I ahead. said another good song mm -hmm. uh, would be Since I've Fallen in Love With You. Since I've Fallen in Love With You? Right here. And that's from... It says, since I've been loving you. Oh, since I've been loving you. And that's from Led Zeppelin? Yes. Oh, there you go. Since I've been loving you from Led Zeppelin. A Hobbit song. Ohio Piper Jeff, how are you, my friend? Eden, how are you, Eden? All right, let's do a second lighting here. Mind it. Right away. So for you are, that are interested, do you, do you all know, at least the ones that are here, do you all know the, the recipe for Hobbit's weed? It was, it, was, um, it was a blend by Tewksbury Tobacconist. They don't, they don't make it anymore. Do you guys, all of you know what the components are to make some Hobbit's weed? I think Matthew knows. Oh, now it's going. Mm -hmm. I only, I think I only lit it up maybe once, top twice. That's just, that's a great it pipe. I'm telling you, that pipe is awesome. That little church warden, it is awesome. Yeah, Eden, get your church warden out and join us and smoke something you like. If you, you said you had the one from uh, the Shire, called the Shire from Bowen, that's a good one to smoke. There you go, Johnny. Yeah, that's it. So you, you, you have one part Berry Cherry from Lane Limited, one part um, Sutliff 1M um, Vanilla, and, and uh, two parts of Lane BCA. That's, that's the recipe. Yeah. Pipes and Poetry, you make your own. Tell us what you is it is it a secret or you want to share what what is your what is your um, recipe there for your pipe with their pipes and poetry? Hey, Gamecock Piper, how are you? How are you, Kevin? If you guys haven't seen it, Kevin Hobbiton Piper did a video today for um, Hobbit Day, so definitely check him out when you have time, and I think you would enjoy it for sure. How you like it so far? This is good. 
You like it? I like it. How do you like that you know cherry like kind of note? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel a little bit peppery. Just a teeny tiny uh -huh. there. Not, not too much. Not aggressive. I wonder what we had in that before, though. You may have, yeah, you may have, have left, do I have leftovers here? You may have <laughs> leftovers from... <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the same recipe as Johnny? Okay. So that's, that's what I use. That's what we're smoking. So one part, um, lane berry sherry, one part salt leaf, one M vanilla, and then two parts lane BCA. So in my case, you know, it would be eight ounces of, of BCA, four ounces of, uh, lane berry cherry and four ounces of, um, salt leaf one M. Hey Tristan, how are you? Yeah, so anyway, anybody that wants to try it, those are easily available. Uh, you can buy them in bulk, so you can buy as little, as much as you want. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, so Matthew, you haven't tried it. Well, maybe maybe I'll, I'll, I'll make some in the future. I, I, I'm, I'm almost out with, that's all I have, the little jar. Maybe I should make some more to have. It's a, you know, it's, you know, it's not one of those plants that you're going to die for, but it's interesting and it has a great room note. What, what do you give it for the, for the room aroma? I would say three and a half. Okay. Yes. I wanted to say hi, Sharon. Sharon's in the house. Yes. Where is Paul? I haven't seen him. If I seen him, I, if he came in, I missed him. We have no moderator today here. Hmm? Yeah, that's Shiro. Mm -hmm. It is an aromatic. I had it. So you kind of have to go slow with it. If not, it will bite you. Um, it, it is on the sweet side for sure. I think one of J.R. Tolkien's favorite tobacco was the uh, the Captain Blue, from what I remember. Hobbiton Kevin might let you know. Let's do a shot and cheers for Hobbiton Day. Okay, let's do it. So cheer, cheer. we're gonna cheer for Hobbit Hobbit Day with Kevin and cheers to you. Cheers to the Hobbits. We're having a, our hobbit drink. We just grab I never leaves. Had this before. We grab leaves that we found in our backyard. We put it all together here. No, that's not how you did it. Mm. And you <laughs> Whose recipe are you? <laughs> that's, you can, based, that's based on my love. This is mint. Well, you can tell them then what, what, what we did there then. Just give me a second. Oh, we're gonna put this. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what's on that. Oh, so Paul, yeah, I know this is kind of late for Paul there. Big Country Briars in the house. Thank you for joining us. Um, who else came in? Greg is here. Uh, oh, yeah, we have a moderator, OBX Piper. Yay! Thank you for being here. Give me a second so I can give them uh, the recipe. For All right, the recipe, recipe for our Hobbit drink. Okay, Hobbit <laughs> drink slash pineapple mojito. Is, is that okay? It's okay. Yeah. That's okay. All right, so that is per drink because I did two of them. But per drink is six mint leaves, see, mint, mm -hmm. uh, plus additional for garnish, of course, two ounces of white rum, uh, one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of syrup, simple syrup, or maple syrup. Okay. Two to four ounces of soda water. I use tonic water. Tonic water, okay. Yeah, and uh, of course, ice, lime, and a little pineapple there too for right. garnish. And Voila. If, you, if you guys want the recipe. What, what is it, the name of the drink again? Hobbit drink. Drink. <laughs> I, it looks so leafy, and so I said, you know, that. We just got it from from uh, Bilbo's garden over there. Yeah, all right. That's that's, so give that's, me some. that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay. So Walter came in the house. Hello, Walter. Hi, Walter. Uh, K 
Kevin confirmed that um, Captain Blue, you know what we refer to as Captain Blue, was J.R. Tolkien's favorite tobacco. And uh, we have someone else come here. Christian, Christian K. Pipes, how are you? Hello. He just smoked his Peterson B42 with Sutliff Sunrise. And Ed, oh, Ed, how are you? I'm sure. Hi, Ed. Ed, what? Which are you smoking your Bowen Church Warden? That's he what you said. He has 11. Do you have all, all 11 of them lit up? <laughs> Just put them side by side. Go by Little one, one by one. one today. My little straw went inside there. <laughs> all right. So I think we got everybody that, that said hi. Now, so some people might argue, well, why will the hobbits have a blend that you know has aromatics or cherry wouldn't they have something a little more earthy and you know that's a good argument you know uh, they they probably would but also hobbits you know they have six meals they love to have a cornucopia of, of things to eat and all that so wow. maybe they would make a blend like this where they would have some kind of know they have six meals because I read about it <laughs> <laughs> he reads everything. <laughs> and Kevin will confirm that. Hobbiton Piper, I'm sure really? he will confirm that, that they okay. have six meals. Yeah. No, I believe you because yeah. you read everything. They actually have a breakfast and then they have a second breakfast. And that's what? actually one of the... That's brunch. What's one of the names? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, they, they love to eat. They love to eat and they love to have a good time. That's for sure. Dingus, I haven't seen you in a while, Dingus. Hi. How are you? Jose's in the house. Oh, we got some Jose. people Get coming pasta. in fast here. Oh, you see, Ed made a mistake. What? He actually has 13 church wardens and four that are semi church wardens. Well, that don't count. So, so it, it's almost but not really. Well, I, he, he, in fact, has 17. He has a lot. Oh, yeah, he has a lot. 11 C's, yeah, 11 C's. So I'm guessing they that's what they have around 11 o'clock. That's another of their meals. At the end of the day, they have dinner and then they have supper. Well, he said, somebody says seven. Hobbiton. Hobbiton, Hobbiton says, says seven. seven. Whatever it is, is a lot. I think, you know, and, and you know what? Seven will make more sense. I don't know why, you know, they keep referring to a six. six. I think that... Um, there's there's an argument there whether when they said second breakfast that is also around the eleven seas thing. So I don't know. I guess you know we we'll have to ask the experts whether it's seven I or assume the, six. The, the, the seven are like not that big. Oh no, they eat a lot. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, maybe the afternoon tea sounds like the one that will be the 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 lightest, but they always kind of are eating something even with their tea, right? Wow. That's a lot of eating. There you go. You're, mo you're smoking your Bowen Shire Church Warden. That's probably a beautiful, beautiful pipe. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. It's debatable. It's a lot. Oh, I've read both things. I read six because they meant second breakfast and the eleven is be the same. And when I counted them, I counted seven, just like you. Exactly. Yeah. If you go to Wikipedia, they say six. So I don't know. I agree. I'm, I'm sure they have seven and probably more. You know, they probably have a midnight snack that is not even referred to there. Oh, someone's smoking the sh okay in my Bojami Church Warden. Okay, I, I've never, I never heard of that. But Jarney, does anybody know about that type of pipe? I have no idea. And Tunnel Tech has only, Greg has only 13 church wardens, but if you guys have seen his church wardens, go to the Tunnel Take channel and you see what I mean. He has a stand that he has custom made that are just enormous. I mean, I think the only thing longer might be some, what you have there, but Greg's uh, uh, church Don't wardens are huge. Uh, yeah, about, about that long. But why? Uh, he, he, uh, he has them you know, the bowl, and then he has, uh, I forgot, the guy was actually at the show, he has him make oh, a stem that. just for him, yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, and they're like nice nice and big and strong, yeah. 
But I wonder what the reason is to have it like super long, I guess. Well, the longer... Does it look fun? Well, I mean, well, that's one reason. That's one reason. Look at this. Yeah. This looks fun. Look at that. So, we're going to have you give that I, a try. I don't have long arms. <laughs> I, I think you can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> we'll leave that for later. Yeah. Stay right there. And it says you can't forget the snacks. All right. Possum Pipers in the house. Hi, Ron. Uh, Shenandoah Palachian Harvest. I have some Shenandoah in here in your Cobbett Shire. Yes. I have the other one I have here is the uh, the dwarf one. Yeah. Um, Missouri Mirshon had a set of four of these things and they're all pretty good. They're not that expensive, you know, if you want to get you a set that is not going to break your budget, Missouri Mirshon has a, a few, uh, I don't know if they call it the Hobbit series or the Middle Earth series or something like that. Hello, Ron. <laughs> Hello. I think I, I, I've seen you today on, on this is, I think, the third live that we, we say hi to each other, Ron. <laughs> so. So we know where you have been. Yeah, I've been checking out everybody's live and seeing what's going on while I, while I whistle while I work. Need more. Who makes good church wardens? There you go, folks, of the YTPC and on the live. Help them out. Help Eden out in who, who makes good church wardens. Oh, Eagles in the house. Hello, hello. Eagle Talon Piper, how are you? Happy Hobbit, Hobbit, Hobbit Day to you also. Hello, Paul. I, I agree with you. They are great smokers for sure. So. Hi, you possum. Well, we. Hello, everyone coming in. Yeah, how many people we have in? 29. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a good group. So, again, if anybody wants the recipe of course people here on the live they can give it to you we can give it to you again for the hobbit, hobbit swede um if you want the recipe for this she already gave it to you but you can do a comment down on the video and then i'll write it in there the whole recipe that way you guys can have it it's easier that way and my pipe and i answer what <laughs> mrs eagle hello to you Hi to you. She, she says she is in the house also. Oh, Jack, okay. you have a Boswell Church Warden. That has to be a pretty thing for sure if you have a Boswell one. They do great, great, great pipes. All right. So what do we have in store of today? We're going to... Today we're going to do a few things. We're going to have our music trivia. Last week we had a movie trivia. And Johnny was the winner. He did awesome. And today we're gonna switch it up to some music. And uh, Lady Fire has some tough ones for you guys here. We'll see how M tough. Maybe. They, maybe. This this crowd smart. This crowd is pretty smart. I had right? to just think. I said, okay, you know what? Last week it was just bam, bam, bam. That we're getting, especially Johnny. He was yeah. getting everything. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I have to have to make it a little bit harder. But maybe for them it's not that hard. That's so, what I think that it's harder. So let's do this, folks. Um, you can give them a preview of, of, of why you have the rules. I'm going to get the microphone so I can get it closer to you. And uh, and I'll be right back. Well, I have to be, I have to be that way. Okay, they, so. They're the, all yours. Don't start it yet, but just talk to them about it. Okay. So every Wednesday, we're going to be uh, doing different trivias. So we're trying to come up with different, uh, if you have any suggestions, we will take suggestions. Uh, we did the movie, we wanna have, uh, this Wednesday's gonna be music. Next Wednesday, we're thinking something along the ways of sports, maybe. Um, so in every week, what we do is that Flat Cap is going to do a tally for, um, you know, the winner of the week, well, not the winner of the week, but uh, tally everybody that participated and at the end of the month we're just going to add those up and we figure out which one is the winner for the month um, and basically that's what we're going to do with this trivia so if you have any suggestions we'll appreciate it we'll take them uh, so that we can have fun all right see if anybody you want it there? I think there. That's that'll All be right. a good thing. See if you can attach it there. Okay, I can try to. Uh... There you go. Okay. There we go. 
All right, let it go nowhere. So if you can hear it. Perfect. So you can you hear us guys? We did a little we did a little a little change there. Hopefully you can hear us better. Moen, Savinelli, Peterson and others. Yeah, I've heard that the Savinelli's are actually good church wardens also. Um so yeah, there's there's a variety of them out there. Um of course, you know the the ones that I, I agree with Kevin. The if you like the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, Bowen makes those ones that are just like the movie. They're over two hundred dollars. I don't own one. Still out of my price range, but they're super, super, super nice. Um, okay, they can hear us better. Uh, okay, perfect. I believe Hobbington Hobbington is going to dinner, but he'll be right back. All right. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, be fast. Don't, don't get in trouble there. <laughs> don't get in trouble, Kevin. ENA's dad is in the house. Nice for you to join us. Oh, let me before I forget, before we get into the into the into the music trivia, I don't want to forget that we're we're going to announce the winner of the name our live or is that later? Is that later in the I, I was believing it was going to be later, but you can do it now. Okay. Well, let's do it we're now. Not, we're not nameless anymore. We're not nameless anymore. <laughs> so let's do that now. So because ENA's dad just came and he reminded me that I was going to say that. So we had a little contest um, that we wanted you guys to help us with a name for our live. And we had some people email us some ideas and gave us some names. And we chose a winner. And the winner is... Mark at TPI. Yay! So if he comes in later, congratulate him. We're gonna send him something. TPI is Tobacco Pipes International. You can go to his channel. He's a great guy. And the name that he gave us was oh here it is. I gave it to you. So he gave us the name Light It Up Live with Flat Cap and Lady Fire. So I like it. We like it. We're gonna light it, light, light it up. Light, light it up. Light it up. Light it up live with Flat Cap and Lady Fire. So we'll start calling our lives on Wednesday that so thank you mark again thank you for your participation you we are the winner it. and thanks for everybody else who participated and, and gave us some ideas all right so they say sharper sound they can hear us better uh medic man has his search water ready so wild applause great name congratulations and what i'll do is i'm just gonna smoke this here quietly and i'm gonna have her take over the trivia and I'm, 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 you're I, gonna have that. Do I get them to 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 press the button if they get it wrong? There you go. I'll have so, fun with so this little thing. So you're gonna have thing. fun with that. Everybody. He was annoying me all day with that. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Don't play oh. on my ear. Okay. Okay. So this segment is going to be called Name That Band. So we're gonna do number one. Pay attention. They were actually 1985 and they were signed 1986. Those were the years. And one of the members, while on a show in Atlanta, November 1987, Blank saw a cop and what he made out to be his, made out to be his friend that they were uh, roughing, you know, being rough with his friend, uh, he clearly was, I'm not going to say the word, blank, upset, and jumped off stage in the middle of the performance and punched the cop in the face. Later, he wrote an apology letter. But when he came face to face with the cop, he said, F, well, maybe you should go, F, you know, <laughs> F, jump off cop. And of course, he was jailed um, shortly after. Who is this band? All right, give us your guesses, and we'll have the first. We're gonna do ten questions. Hi, Boris. Boris came in. I said hi, and um, we have what? Well, we have about twenty-eight people here. Who are the music buffs here? Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Who are the music buffs? Raise your hand. Covert Jim answer will be seven. So he just answers seven for everything. 
<laughs> You're G just slow. <laughs> GNR. What is GNR tunnel take? <laughs> Iggy Pops and the Stoogies. Wait a second. What are you doing? <laughs> I think you're liking this little thing too much. <laughs> it was wrong. <laughs> Good Lord. He says, love the music, but I don't know. So, uh, NSL says, John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi. Hit it, hit it. All right. Marky Mark. Mark and Funky Bon Jovi. That's a good guess, but <laughs> Motley Crue. You know what? I don't even know the answer, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> For not knowing the answer. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, okay. <laughs> Should we give him a little hint? One song. All right. So get ready, guys. She's gonna yeah, give get you ready hint. to Google the song. <laughs> yeah, the hints get. Uh, the first hint of one of their hits was "Bad Apples." Well, of course they're bad apples. I yeah. told you. <laughs> so this one of their. Can we song. get twice? Guess. Keep on guessing. Oh yeah, you can keep on guessing. Hello, Ben. Hey, Ben. We have Pancras says Green Day. What? Green Day? No. Nope. Poison. The problem, guys, is here. I don't even know the answer, to be honest with okay. you. Okay. I'm going to give you a sec. A rat? Rat? No. Is that the name of the man? Rat? I don't know, but it's not. <laughs> you guys are wearing up my battery. <laughs> this, right. Okay, I'm going to give you another song. White Snake, Johnny says. No. Nope. Nope. Meatloaf, nope. Meatloaf. It's, na it's the name of a band, nope. but not right. Nope, nope. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right. Is it Meatloaf? Why a snake? Oh. He go. He's uh, slow. No, we have a limit. <laughs> Lover boy, no. We have a limit of 10 angst per, per thing. <laughs> okay, so the second song. I'm looking the for first one. Right. The first one was Bad Apples. Right. The, second the second one is November Rain. November Rain. Sailor Man, Sailor Piper Man from Hola, Puerto Rico. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bienvenido. Saludos a todos los boricuas de Puerto Rico. And we have another guest, oh, Run and Roses. Oh, oh, he got it. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so Eden, yes. guess the first one. It was Guns and Roses. Uh, the, the next one song that I was going to say was Welcome to the Jungle. I mean, they would have gotten it there, you know, and Sweet, and sweet Child of Mine. Yeah, it was Guns and Roses. Wait a second. Good so, job. So Greg, Greg, you said G and R. I remember now. Actually, Greg said it a long time ago. <laughs> Greg, do the whole name. But but we have to count it. Yes, All right. yes, yes, yes. That's okay. All right. Turn on got it an hour ago. All right, guys. I, Please I, write the whole name. <laughs> I, even if you misspell it, just help just, me out. Just yeah. All right, we so got that's Greg. Right. We got Greg. We got, got that I one. I got it right here. So, Good uh, job. Sailor Piper Man just came in from Puerto Rico. So we're doing a little bit of music trivia. We have ten questions. We she's gonna tell you something about the band, something that happens. See if you guess it, and if you can't, then she's gonna start saying songs from that band. Okay. Wepa. All right, here we go. Number two. Blank are an Australian rock band formed in Sydney in 1973 by Scottish-born uh, brothers. I'm going to give you the names, but I'm not going to give you the last name. Malcolm and Angus. Their music has been variously described as hard rock, blues rock, and heavy metal, but the band called themselves simply rock and roll. They underwent several lineups changes before releasing the first album. And I'm not going to say the album because they're going to know. So we have some guesses. Uh, we who, have Toto. Nope. ENA's dot ACDC. That's the right one. That's the right one. ENA's dot you they are have the winner. Hells, bells, shouts to thrill, thunderstruck. Thunderstruck is my favorite. I love that really? guitar. Really? Have you, oh God, that is good. I'm going to have to listen to after we get done here. So, yes. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. And Highway to Hell. Any ACDC, oh, oh, look at that. Woo, that, that. That one a lot of people knew. Yes. But the first one was ENA's that, ENA's that. You get a point. All right, here we go. We have a tie, one to one. And Eagle says Maria Carey. All right, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Number 
with Rafe. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, she did the same thing that my kid does when, uh, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even finish the question. Okay, so name that band. Then, oh, let me, let me make sure I don't say Wait, something Wait, guys, don't, don't guess yet until she says the question. Don't questions. guess yet. All right, so two, number two is over. No more guesses. Yeah, you're right. It's up. It's ACDC. I know some of you guys might be in a lag. So um, if, you're, if you're seeing this on your phone, you can tap on the right side of the phone like that just so you can go fast forward to, uh, to where we are live. If you're seeing it on your laptop, there's also a function on the laptop that you can go fast forward. That way be at the same time as everybody else because you know sometimes you might be in a little bit of a lag and it's a little disadvantage but there's nothing we can do about that so all right question number three number two uh was won by ena's dad go awesome. ahead take it away the lead singer has a statue overlooking lake geneva in montreal switzerland blank was a british singer songwriter record producer and lead vocalist of the rock band Blank. Regarded as one of the greatest singers in the history of rock and roll music. He was known for his flamboyant stage persona and four octave vocal range. He died in November 24th, 1991. Who's oh, this band? This one, they got it from Ooh. the first one. Eden gets it. Awesome. Queen. Queen. They're awesome. Have you seen the movie? It was great. That guy did a great job oh, yeah. on yeah. that movie. Yeah, some of their hits were Don't Stop Me Now, I Want to Break, break Free. Of course, who doesn't know Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. Yeah, he was a, he was a fan of opera. Where to go, Eden? Remember, guys, uh, you answer with the name of the band. So, uh, we have some Freddie Mercury's, but of course, there's somebody said Queen first. So answer with the name of the band, not the name of the person. Yes. All right. Question number four. Okay. This band were a music group formed in 1958 by three brothers. This trio were especially successful as a popular music act in the late 1960s and early 70s and later as a prominent performance of the disco music era in the mid to late 1970s. Who named that band? We have Pipe Gromsey Bee Gees. And he's right. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, that was on the yes. first guess. Good job, Pipe Grom. Yeah, some of their hits was How Deep Is Your Love, More Than a Woman, and Staying Alive. Wow. So we have Greg. See, see, I told you they're good. They're really good, they man. Are she good. did this test to me, and I and I I didn't know at least half of them. So Greg, one point. Ian is that one point. Eden, one point. And Pipe Club, one point. Awesome. I know. He was fast. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Number five, right? They're, they're gonna. Yeah, this is number five. All right. This American rock band was formed in Los Angeles in 1965. They were among the most controversial and influential rock acts of the 60s, mostly because of their lead singer, the lead singer's voice. Along with his erratic stage persona, their lead singer died in uncertain circumstances in 1971. He was 27 years old, and the location was Paris. Who uh, is this? Pipe Grum says Aerosmith. Ian is that, says the Eagles. Nope. Then Everett Jones says the Doors. And he got it right. The ding, Doors. Ding, 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 the Doors. Ding, 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 ding. We yes. Need to, we need to go I need the ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I really do. Uh, maybe, actually, we can, maybe we can. Oh, you see the one that I really like is "When You're Strange." I like uh, uh, "When You're Strange," uh, "Light My Fire," and "Roadhouse Blues." Good job, Everett. Hello, Clay. Everett's in the house. Hello, Everett. Hello, I didn't hello. see you until now, and you got a point. Wow, we have five different winners so far. So we have a five-way tie. Yeah. Cosmo, hello, Cosmo. Hello. And any, anybody else that came in? Nope. 
and everybody actually had guests out. Clay, Clay is here. Hello, Clay. Hi. I saw your video earlier, the one that you did at four in the morning, smoking some pipe weed. The, oh, the, the, the pipe weed. Uh, Hobbit weed that I sent you, so. Uh, yeah, it was the doors. Um, all right. You're double checking? Yeah, yeah. And somebody said doors, and yeah, it was the doors, but somebody guessed right away. Yeah, Everett. Yes, okay. Number six. Number six. Number Numero six. Numero six. The lead singer had an overdose on a combination of champagne and, I hope I can say this right, rough, rough no. Okay. And subsequently entered an intervention and underwent a detox program. On <coughs> April 8, 1999, was found dead at his house in Seattle at also age of 27. Police concluded he has died April 5th from a self-inflicted shot, shot, uh, shotgun wound to the head. Hello, Ray Ray. Hello, oh. Donald. Donald will do some music trivia. And let's see, the first one says Nirvana. And he Matthew. is right. All right, Matthew, you got yourself a point. Yep, wow, yep, yep, this yep. is a six-way tie now. Good. And Good. some of the hits were Come As You Are. And this was like to me the first hit they got really good with Smell Like Teen, teen Spirit. Very right. good, very good. So, those to remind everybody the rules, we are looking for the name of the band, okay? <laughs> and somebody said, if I can help, if I can uh, spell. That's okay. If it's He's misspelled. He's doing a good job. This is very tight. If it's misspelled, it, it counts. Uh, so we'll yes. figure it out, okay? But yeah, just, just write it real quick. But again, we're looking at the name of the band. So if you said, you know, Kurt Cobain and, and you know, we're looking for the name of the band. Is name that band. So name that band, okay? All right, number seven. We, we have a winner. I don't know. Everybody's tied with one point so that's far. That's not bad because this is, remember, it's going to be uh, throughout the whole month. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. We're going to accumulate. Okay. There All you right. go. So Blank, American rock band that formed in Hawthorne, California in 1961. The original group consisted of three brothers, a cousin, and a friend. Distinguished by their vocals, harmonies, adolescent-oriented orient themes, and musical ingenuity, they are the most influential acts of the rock era. Who is this band? Oh, my Lord! We have the first guest by Walter. She says Beach Boys. It is the Beach Boys. Oh, it's are California in on Dreaming, uh, Good Vibrations, uh, Surfer Girl, and Kokomo. All right. Some so of, we give some it to Walter. Hits. Good Walter job. Walter gets a point. We have a seven-way tie. So Tunnel Tate has a suggestion. He says read less of the hint first. So maybe... Well, um, if, if I say the songs, they're going to Google the No, no, song. no, no. So it says read less of the hints. So, oh. like, let's say, maybe, maybe you read the first two oh, lines. Oh, just need to do lines and stop. And stop and see. Okay. I don't know. I'm in. These All guys right, go are again. good. These guys are good. All right. All right. So. Let's see. Wait a second. Wait a second. Aiden says that he said it before. Let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure. Okay. We want to be fair. We want to be fair here. Uh... Let's see, let's see. And I know there's a lot, guys. And this is for fun. So let's see. I have... No, in our thing, it, it, Walter has it. Walter was first on, on, yeah, on our thing here. It was the Beach Boys, yes. Yeah, so we have a seven-way tie. And we'll, a lot of good guesses. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go slow. Read the first two lines or first line I'm and gonna stop. I'm going to go the first line and stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Blank are an English English band formed in London, 1962. Hello, Paul. Hi, Paul. Happy Hobbit Day to you. We're smoking Hobbit's weed in our church wardens and doing a little bit of music trivia. We know the Hobbits like music. Is not, well, they're already answering. Uh, is not the Beatles. All right, the Beatles. <laughs> No. Whoa. WKR Piper said it. We have a bunch of Beatles, Beatles, and then we have WKR say the Rolling Stones. And it is. Let me tell you the whole thing. Active for the almost, they've been active for almost six decades. 
They are the most popular and enduring bands of the rock era. Diverging from the pop rock in the early 60s, they pioneer the, the gritty, heavier, driven sound that came to define rock. And some of the hits is Angel, Beast of Burton, and If You Start Me Up. But they're going to ding us if I still don't get to sing. Way to go. Good job. Buddy. Good job. So we have an eight-way tie now. Well, you know what? I think you might as well read the whole thing because they, they're fast no Did matter what. Fast? While we wait it, they, yeah. Yeah, I so, told you. So read the whole thing. I'll yes. read the whole thing. You guys just guess as soon as you figure it out. All right. Okay. So number nine. The Blank are an English rock band formed in London, 1964. They are, they are considered one of the most influential rock bands of the 20th century and have sold over 100 million records worldwide. Who is this band? And Bo oh, somebody said Beatles and that's not it. And Boris says The Who and he's right. All right. It is the hood. Ba Baba O'Reilly, one of their songs, Won't Get Fooled Again in My Generation. Yes, it is the hood. Wow, that was a lot of that Pink was Floyd super fun. Boris, oh my lord, is this an eight way tie now? <laughs> wow, no, we haven't had the same winner twice, so hey, I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, last time it was just a runaway by Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, it was Johnny ran away. He got so we're, we're sending him a prize. He ran away with the, with the, with the whole everything movie thing for sure. All right. So all right, let me know when let's, you're ready. let's give him a second so to clear all the delay because I know we have a little delay. All right. Which one would this be? Number nine. This would be number ten. I have actually. If you want, one, I have two, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is gonna be number ten. All right. Oh, I think that the Sailor Piper Man was trying to say the funny on whole star. <laughs> <laughs> it's not them. <laughs> good guess. Good um, guess. Good guess. <laughs> Number 10. Blank are an Irish rock band from Dublin, formed in 1976. Blank musical style has evolved throughout their career. Yet has maintained an, an anthemic quality built on the lead singer expressive vocals and the edges shining effects based guitar sounds. Who is this holy goodness? Johnny is the first one who says U2. Is that correct? And that is correct. It is U2. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Walk on, Vertigo, uh, One Beautiful Day, and With or Without You are some of their hits. And the singer is Bono. Well, you we have 10 different ones and hey, since we said, you know, from now on we accumulate it so that we can do this over the span of a, of a few trivias. Everybody's in the game. Yeah. We, we have two, two bonus Steven ones. Even Stevens. We have two bonuses. Two bonus ones. All right. Do you want the extra two or uh, are you okay? Let's, let's just do it. All right. Let's do uh, so <laughs> Ian is that he's, he's gonna say he's gonna answer Beatles, Beatles. from now on. It's the yeah. Beatles. <laughs> At least he gets one, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll 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 kind of give a little give a little um time here so that okay. all the all the all the things can, can roll through. All right, no problem. We'll have a little bit of hobbit drink. I'm gonna eat this pineapple. I've been staring at it. I really want it. Go ahead. Mm. All right. And Clay is just gonna say Queen from <laughs> now queen. on. But no, don't say Queen because we already we already did Queen. Yeah, we already did Queen. Yeah, so did there's queen. a chance that he won't be Queen no more. And it's not. It's already saying the Beatles. <laughs> just like the Beatles. Wait. All right. I'm. I'm gonna write. So. From I'm gonna put here from from whatever I'm writing here, whatever's before <laughs> it doesn't count. All right. <sighs> So oh, this is funny. what, number what? <laughs> this is number 11. Number 11, all right. So I'm going to write number 11. So number it has 11. to be whatever's under my, <laughs> my text here. Number... You guys are funny. <laughs> 11. El Gran Combo. That would be, be a good one. That's Sailor Piper. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number 11. We'll do salsa next time. 
Are you Name ready? that salsa. Okay, yeah, uh, you're telling me if I'm ready. Go. Okay, go. All right. 1978 through 1983. For, uh, formation and rise to stardom. The band members began as friends who knew each other from various schools across Burn Birmingham, England. They, uh, their name was selected to an attendance card issued to people claiming unemployment benefits from the UK government. Who is this band? All right, the first it, guess is Sex Pistols. Is, is <laughs> Hey, Roberto. Roberto. Hello, Roberto, we're playing most music trivia. We were playing without you. Where were you? Eric, how are you? He says oh. Pink Floyd. No, it's not. And we Somebody got it. Bunch of Beatles. Black Sabbath. The, the monkeys. monkeys. And Rusty comes with UB40. Yay! Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. And the clue there was about the unemployment. The unemployment. So tell them about that. It was the. Well, actually, UB40, they selected their name um, UB40 because it's called unemployment. That's U. Uh, benefits. That's V. And Form 40. Form 40. The Form 40 is the that one that is... you had to fill out for unemployment. That Obviously... is crazy how someone would <laughs> find. A name based on unemployment. That's unemployment. And now, you know, UB40, you would never think of that. It's I, actually a cool name. Yeah. UB40. Yeah. They're an English reggae and pop band. I love these people. They uh, had Don't Break My Heart, Kingston's Town, Here I, Here I Come. I love that one. Here I Come, Baby. And Red Red Wine. I think that was the first hit that I knew them from, the Red Red Wine. So, Rusty, we are uh, just to... Put you on. Somebody said ABBA. No. ABBA. I, I, <laughs> That's not ABBA. I, I like some other songs from ABBA. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we have 11 ties. So, for this, you know, next thing that we're going to do, I think we're going to do three trivias and then pick a winner. Everybody right now is tied. So, yeah. everybody has a chance to win the, the prize at the end of the three different trivias. All right. Okay. Also, an interesting story. Yeah. Nickelback. Oh, I need to find that out, Roberto. Uh, how Nickelback got their name. Okay. Also an interesting job. I'm going to find that out. So I'm going to write in here. And then after yeah. I say number 12, all the guesses will count. All right. Whenever you're ready, I, I'll Okay, Rusty start. came in. I'm sorry, Rusty. That's okay, we'll see Rusty. see you next Wednesday at 7. You came in late, but you, you, you're, at, you're, you're already here. tied with everybody else. How's, how's that? You came in late, almost an hour late, but you're tied yeah. with everybody. That's great. So you're not late at all. All right. Whenever you start, I'll hit it. Okay. Ready? I'm, I'm ready. Go. Blank are an American rock band formed in L.A. in 1971 with five number one singles and six number one albums, six Grammy Awards, and five American Music Awards. They were one of the most successful musical acts of the 70s in North America. Their members were recruited by Linda Ronstadt as band members, some touring with her and all playing on her third solo album before venturing on their own. Who is this band? The first guess was Eden. He said the Eagles. And he, he is right. Where do you go, Eden? So you are it taking is the, the lead. Eagles. Yeah, they had New Kid in Town, The Last Resort, Take it easy in Hotel California. That's where some of them is. said Johnny Carcinogen and the Long Cigars. I like that band. The Captain Chupacabra. <laughs> and Captain Chupacabra. We did not make it. Awesome, guys. Thanks for playing along. So we have uh, somebody that's uh, leading that right now. That is uh, Eden. So join us next Wednesday. So we'll do uh, the second part of the trivia. We're going to choose either sports or perhaps pipe trivia, or we would like you guys to give us uh, a category that so you might enjoy. Yeah. So you can do it right now. If you know of a category that may be kind of fun, just write it there right now, and we can do uh, we can research it and come up with about 10 to 12 questions, and we'll do that in one of the lives. So give a suggestion. Pick something you guys know about. That will make it fun. Thank you, Greg. He says, love this, y'all. If, uh -huh. if we do sports, don't worry. I will pick questions from something as obscure as cricket to something having to do with um, uh, what is that other sports? You know, of course, we'll do 
football, European football, we'll do American football, we might do some baseball, uh, we might do some curling. So don't worry, if I pick sports, I'm not gonna stick to just one sport. I'll kind of make it kind of fair to everybody around the world. Some of them are saying uh, pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco, okay. More music, pipes, sports, or, or what, what? Video game trivia, what says Clay. He's probably um, good at that. Latino singers. Bourbon. <laughs> Bourbon. Boiler trivia. Video game trivia. Video well, game trivia. Don't you be good at that. I'll be good at that one. Yeah. Video games is good. Thank you, Roberto. This is from the uh, Missouri Meerschaum. They have a, a series of pipes from, you know, Middle Earth or the Lord of the Rings. And this is the wizard. <laughs> Greg says car carpentry. Carpentry. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> they have the wizard. This is the dwarf. They have another one called the Shire and another one called the Elf. So check them out. They are very inexpensive and they are great pipes. I've been smoking on this for over an hour now. Mine went out quick. And it's great. It is, it's great. It has, it somebody has... wants beer. Beer they trivia. They want beer trivia. And somebody says, well, sports really, Boris really wants sports. Eric has a good one. Early Hungarian cabinet making. Infectious diseases. <laughs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> Geography, hey, that, that That's might be a good bad. one. Yeah. Latin music. All right, edible plants. Just as edible plants. You might know a little bit about that. Hmm. Food, cooking. Oh, hmm. now we're talking. I'm gonna make them all hungry. <laughs> that might be a good one, cooking. <laughs> Geography and world history. All right, oh. so good guys. Those are, these are good, great these ideas. These are great ideas. And that's what we, we want. We got a lot. We now. want something. We want something uh, fun for you guys to so see culinary. So that that will be that right will be up your alley. That's up my alley. Yeah. You know what? I edible think animals. <laughs> edible animals. Okay. Chicken, <laughs> frogs. Inventors and inventions. Okay. Cooking will be good. All right, so we'll let you guys know um, the best way to know. Ooh, it. Star Wars Star trivia. Star Wars oh. trivia. I want to be on the other side of that one because oh. I want to be playing too. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to be missing us. You're going to go to the other room to participate. You know what? Let's write some of this down. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, no, I am going to have them. Oh, you, you, you're taking yeah, screenshots? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. going to do it. All right. All right. So, yeah, all of those are good ideas. Um, and... I'm That's start, what we'll do. So I'm this is kind pictures. of fun. That way we can do something in the middle here with you guys, and and of course uh, we we want um, we want to send you something at the end. And I'm I'm gonna send Greg Tunnel Take. Uh, if you haven't seen it, the Tunnel Take he has some stickers, and he said if oh. you send him a self address stamp envelope, he'll send them to you. I'm gonna do the same. See if he can send me some, and I can use some of those also to give maybe to the winners or maybe to the to the daily. Uh, Winners on Wednesday, so. Jay Mouton, how are you? Nice hey! to see you. That's okay. I'm just glad you came by and say hi. That last bulldog pipe you did looks amazing. I love your pipes. Mm -hmm. You are such a good artisan. Uh, guys, if you haven't been to Jay Mouton's channel, uh, he, he makes the some of the most beautiful pipes you will ever see. So definitely check him out. All right, so what's going on next? YTPC trivia. Hey, that would be kind of fun. Yeah. You know, maybe we, we, we'll, we'll give you some hints and say, name that YouTuber, name that YTPC person. Oh, that's hey, it. let's write that. Well, I'm going to put it in here. I think I got that one. I you think got I, that? I, I, I make screenshots of everything. Name that YTPC person. All right. Oh. That's, that might be a fun one. Hey. It says, uh, maybe put all the suggestions on spinning the wheel. <laughs> Ballroom dancing trivia. Oh, man. I, I, I always wanted to take some ballroom dancing. Maybe I know. You did it. tell me that yeah. at the very beginning. <laughs> We're still working on that. We're still working on that. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, Adios, amigo. So the total Whoever's text leaving. says, look at his video. It's video number two four two uh he names he numbers them and <laughs> that's yeah he, greg he, says name that lurker <laughs> name that lurker hey that might be fun too <laughs> but we don't, we don't want to insult anybody uh, if, they, if they feel that i don't think that's an insulting name but anyway 
Um, so video number 242, the tunnel take, and uh, so you can get your stickers. You're welcome, uh, They are awesome looking stickers. Yes, I saw them. I that is a great job. You're able to his daughter, right? Yeah, his Your daughter, daughter did a great job. Yeah. She, she I just got married. She's on her honeymoon and, um, you know, yeah. So he, yeah, congrats. congratulations there. Tell her congratulations from us there, Greg. Okay, so, um, oh, look at that. We didn't know that. Uh, we, we're going to have to check that out. Briar Blues is working on a cooking contest. Oh. That's up your alley. I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't want to participate in that one. <laughs> okay. So, next coming up, it is Saturday, guys. For you guys that like college football, and if you don't like it and you just want to join us, uh, we I'm there at 9 in the morning, mm -hmm. Eastern Time. I do the predictions of the games going on. I just chat with you guys, smoke a pipe. And last week, uh, we I made six predictions with my son, obviously. He's the one that does all the research. And we got five out of six correct. So we did very well. The only one we missed was the one that we were trying to predict an upset. And it did not happen. Yeah. Um, North today did not get upset by Purdue, but it was it was close. Um, no, so Clay. Mm -mm. I'm going to win. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so <and> It's on. <laughs> Alabama got to beat my Florida Gators. It was only a two-point game, so we actually did pretty good. And Matthew and I did a little uh, side bet there, so I'm sending Matthew a 10 for his Alabama roll tie winning that game. So anyway, lots of fun. Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, if you want to join me. Uh, that's what we're doing. So Rusty's asking, Rusty's asking if you called the Gator game right. Let's see. Yes, did. I did. I called it right. I picked yeah. Alabama. But so. you know what? You, I know you picked Alabama, but I still insist that we would have number 50. A quarterback not injured, it would have been a different story. I feel the same way. I am absolutely positive because yeah. we lost like by two points. Yeah, just only two points. Only two points. So, Rusty, yeah, my predictions I, we got five right out of six, so we only missed one. And we're going to try to do the same. Uh, and, you know, yeah, six out of eight. Donald, you got six out of eight? All right. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I did. So, some NFL too. We, you know, if there's enough interest, after I go through all the picks of the college, what I can do is say, hey, if any of you NFL fans that we can talk about some of the NFL games, um, and you know, and, and you and you guys can also talk. So you guys can make your own your prediction there with me. I, I watch NFL, but I don't watch it as much as I do college. So, um, you know, I won't have as much to talk about as I do with college. But hey, I still enjoy it. I have a fantasy team for the NFL and you know so I keep up with some of the players for sure all right okay so what else is is if you if it was a what a half a, a fifth we all get One drunk if, if if I was a Donald we're not following Donald what are you saying there <laughs> One fifth, I think I think he's been drinking already <laughs> Donald, what are you, Donald, why are you drinking over there <laughs> I didn't get we drank it and he felt it. For the ones that came in late, if you want the recipe for mm -hmm. oh. um, a Hobbit weed, we gave it, but we'll do it again. It's but that's not real weed, right? No, no, it's not real uh, weed. It's not real. <laughs> it's, that's so bad. It's one part Laneberry Cherry, one part uh, Salt Leaf 1M Vanilla, and two parts Lane BCA. <laughs> You mix that together and you get yourself and voila. some hobby sweet. Okay. All right. A fifth to... of a gallon. Oh, so he's talking about a fifth of a gallon. All right. All right. So we're going to talk the flick of the week. All right. We have the flick of the week. So flick last week, oh, you, you take over. What did we tell him last week? Well, no. Um, what I was going to tell about is the flick that we saw already. The one that we're going to recommend we're going for this week. To review for this week. All right, you That's take the it away. one. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So this actually, this flick was so good. Yeah. It is called the Baton Town Outlaws, and this was released in. I'm surprised that it was released in 2012, and I never seen this. I never saw the movie. Um, and there was three. It's about three infamous brothers from Alabama, from Bama. From Bama, yeah. From Bama. 
they stir up a whole lot of trouble with crooked cops, mobsters, and more. And they try to accomplish a single good deed for the first time in their lives, I guess. This is action, comedy, and crime. I thought it was from the beginning to the end. It, it was fun. It was it had a lot of action. There was not a boring moment. I really, um, and then you have two of the of good actors is Billy Bob Thornton. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know Billy Bob? He was the bad guy. He's the bad guy. And then Eva Longoria was there. And I am, I'm Travis Femmel. Femmel? Femmel? That's the one that I said was in the, in the Vikings. In the Vikings. Yeah, he is such a good actor. I he really liked it. He was my favorite character because he was so funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very natural. You know, they actually, the three brothers acted so well together. Did you really believe they were brothers? So this is a very action-packed movie. Oh. Lots of blood, lots of shooting. So if that's yes. not your thing, we don't recommend that. But it was so interesting that we almost forgot to pop in for popping the tin. It almost did. If I and didn't that, have the alarm set, we would have forgot. We would have missed because we were. I was like this. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to move. So what's the name again? Repeat it for them. The Baton Outlaws, and this is actually a, a rated R movie. So I have to warn you about that. And why okay. is it rated R? Tons of violence. Yeah, yeah. A lot of shooting everywhere. People dying everywhere. So dropping everywhere. Language. Now, there's going to be bombs everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's going to be full of that. So F bombs, you, you mean? F bombs okay. and everything. They did everything. Yeah, okay. So, if you guys do not like violence, do not like the language or sexual suggestive uh, images, I would recommend this may yeah. not be for you. Yeah, it's not one to see with the with the family. With the yeah. children, no. This is at least eighteen and over, and I will say maybe more than eighteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is a great movie. It was fun. It was yeah. fun. I loved it. Yeah. So Rusty is asking a question. Where did we two meet? Where did we two meet? Uh -huh. I, I, you know, I keep forgetting what that that app was. But you said it was. Which one do you think it was? I think. Yeah, I forgot. It was a dating app. It was a dating and, app. And, you know, we read each other's profile there and we liked what we read. And then I traveled two hours plus to find this lady. She did not live close to me at all. And I would travel and visit her on the weekends or whenever I could. And, yeah, that's how we met. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've, the first... Uh, we, um, the first restaurant that we went together was um it was at olive olive garden, garden yeah that was uh... we had so much fun y'all i mean we just sat there and we la I, I don't think i even ate my dinner because <laughs> i was laughing so hard and he got out of there he says his cheeks were hurting <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, it was so fun. Our the, first day was just full of laughing. Yeah. Oh, full of laughter. I That's really right. liked him. And then I said, well, I felt so bad because it was two, uh, it was two hours. He just got out of work late. Mm -hmm. Two hours to get to me. <coughs> then sit there. I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. Then two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, we just sat there and talked. And then he had to drive two hours back. And I said, oh my gosh, you know, I really feel bad for that. I'm never going to see him again. <laughs> yeah. I said, you can call me. If I didn't like what I saw the first time, that would have been the last drive because I was, <laughs> I was exhausted. I said, this is, this is a long, and we're talking about a drive that there's nothing. We're, oh, yeah. There's a nothing road. In dark. There's even Jaguar crossing signs. No kidding. Yeah, and, and, and bears. And bear crossing signs. So I had to cross through jaguars, bears, and I'm sure the ears, because I saw some, and yeah, I was saying, if I don't like what I see, I'm not doing this anymore. This is the first <laughs> and the last, the last time. time. I thought, you know, uh, I don't think he's going to like this four-hour drive and sat, sit here after a full day, it was a Friday, yeah. full day of work to do this, and we bar I think I barely touched my dinner, because I was just having so much fun with Yeah. That. Yeah, it was in Florida. Yeah, she lived in uh, Sebring, Florida, mm -hmm. little town there, and... I was still here, actually. At that time, I was living in Fort Myers. Now we, we moved to Cape Coral. So that's how we met, you know. And uh, so uh, Monday, uh, before we forget, we're going to be doing Popping the Tin. And we're going to be doing Sean. This is the one oh. who won the... Oh, yes, you guys. It was between Stonehaven and... Navy so Flake, y'all. Navy Flake won. So that's what we're going to do on Monday. So I think that's a popular one. If you guys have it. Smoke it with us at 8 o'clock at night on Popping the Tin. Tell us what you think. 
Uh, we don't mind, you know, if we give it a bad rating and you like it, we want to know. And the other way around, if we give it a, a, a good rating and you guys don't like it also, we will want to know. Uh, Somebody asked in Florida. Yes, eh, Florida. All right. My brother's been driving training from VA to New York every two weeks for a lady all summer. Wow. Hope it works out. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope so, too. You know, and... What happens, you know, is you, you got to give it time and you got to, you know, I always told her I wanted to first find out if we could be friends, if we could be good friends. I said, if we, if I see you as one of my best friends, I know the rest is going to work out. And, and it was kind of confusing to you at the beginning because you said, friends, what do you mean? But little, you know, you, you little by little, you got it. What I was well, trying yeah, to well, say. When, when I met you, I was like, I hope because we had so much fun. And we laugh so much. We have so much in common that I said, I hope that this doesn't mean that we were in the friend zone because it felt kind of a little bit too comfortable, too comfortable. It was too comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it, I never felt that before. Yeah. yeah. But it oh. worked. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the beauty Wait, of the beast. We're going to, we're going to bore them to death. Yeah. All right. So enough cheesiness. Now. What else we have? So we, we we went over all the things that we're doing this week. We went over everything that we were doing this week. So one thing that someone reminded right there, um, it's <laughs> Donald says, Holly and I work better with distance. Farther I was, the more she liked me. What? <laughs> That's Donald for you. <laughs> with distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So someone reminded me, actually Tristan said, uh, Lady Fire said she was going to smoke that big, long church warden, and she she kind of forgot about it. Oh, no, I am I can do it. All right, so what I are we going to have? I think for a second one. Yeah, give me something I, else, because my first one went out. Bag in or second breakfast? Oh, you which, know what? which one do you recommend for you me? You know what? Smell it and, 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 and uh, here, make a choice. So bag in is more, if I remember correctly, of a... Of a Scottish mixture, so it's gonna be, you know, your Latakia with um, some Turkish, some Virginia, uh, and and some. I think this one has also. Um, what's the other thing that this one has? I completely forgot. But anyway, smell that one. That's okay. And then this one's gonna be a little sweeter. The second breakfast Ooh, is more of your Virginia one. Cavendish uh, maple syrup. Um, this smells really good. Kind of a kind of a second breakfast thing. So, hmm. all right. So, yeah, second breakfast was tasty. So, okay. So let's try that. These are from of the um, you know from a, again from the Middle Earth series from the Country Squire. There they did six different ones and before I light up, uh -huh. um, I help I you. I want to help me out. Okay, yeah. so I wanted to uh, mention. Ooh. Uh, I'll, I'll I wanted to mention to them. Right. somebody. Um, we are trying to when we do the um, the flick of the week. We're trying to uh, pick movies that. Let me see. You I forgot to tell them where that movie was. Yes. Um, the thing is, Amazon Prime. Yeah, but that's not the only place. I hope I find the card that I had it on. But anyway, what I was trying to tell you is that I'm trying to give you uh, movies that are easy to find that you don't have to buy. But, however, um, I lost my track. Hold on a second. Okay, so let me tell them where to find it. You can find this one at Pluto TV if you have that. You can also find it at Prime Video, and you can also find it in Tubi. And I'm talking about the Baytown, the Baytown Outlaws. So that's where you can find that movie. And, of course, we're trying Good to movie, tell yes. you it's an awesome movie. Uh, we're trying to give you movies that you can find easy on TV, that they're free. Uh, so that you don't have to buy them, but someone suggested this movie and we were not able to find a place uh, Where you can find you know that you can get it free so but it was uh, only like five dollars and five dollars I'll do and it was recommended by one uh, of you guys. Yes, mm -hmm. and they told us uh, Green Book this is the the movie Green Book and if you if you want to buy a good movie if you want to spend five bucks and get it I think I got it in Amazon as well. Um, it is by Viggo Mortensen, and he is the one from The Lord of the Rings. That's the picture of him right there. He's from The Lord of the Rings. And then there is this guy that I have no idea. I've never heard of him before. Mahershala Ali. 
and he won an Academy Award winner. Uh, I mean, he was an Academy Award winner, and he Vigo was an Academy Award nominee. This is an excellent movie. Yeah, we really enjoyed that one, guys. Very good movie. There's nothing bad in here. I will say probably PG or something like that. But if you would like to say this was back in 2018 when this came out, it was excellent. So you get two for one today. Very, very, two for one. very good. Thank you for wh whoever. I cannot remember the person who recommended this movie. Thank you very much. All right. I got this started for you. Awesome. See if, if you, you can continue it. But that is... Second breakfast, so it's like a, uh, again, maple, uh, Cavendish, Virginia type. I'm thinking about, you know, them having the second meal of the day. Okay, they're saying Green Book uh, was a good movie, and Clay says that he wanted to see Green Book for ages. I yeah. am telling you. I highly recommend it. You will be highly very. Recommend. It's, 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 uh, it has a good it's theme. Good and acting. Good acting. And I good think. Good acting. You know, it's one of those. That one, you know, again, you don't have to worry about that much about. You can watch it with the family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's, it's very well acted and there's no killing. There's nothing but the um, the whole situation. Good the night, whole movie Matthew. had great. Uh, it's a great theme. It was it, it was something that you wanted to keep on watching and just kept you alert and watch it. So it, it was a great movie. Thank you. So Cheap Trail, somebody's recommending that one. So let me write it down somewhere here. And that was on Hulu, Cheap Thrills. No, we haven't watched that one. No. Okay, what is that about? Is it horror? What is a Cheap, a cheap Thrills about? I have no idea. So how are you liking that? <laughs> you have to have long I'm, arms I'm for working, this one. I'm working on it. I was thinking of, of getting someone to do a... That's my microphone. Your microphone <laughs> is gone. I lifted that in. Okay, so what is it about? we go I pinched it all right here we go I think mine stopped all right guys so pretty soon we're gonna end the uh, live we would like to end before Nashville Mafia Nashville Mafia who starts at 8 30 so we um, we hope you guys had fun I hope you guys celebrate Hobbit Day um, it's hard to explain, says for the for the chip trios. You have to watch it. We'll watch it then. We like surprises. So we'll we we like to see different kind of things. So if, if it's something really weird, we I'll probably enjoy it. I'm more <laughs> I I'm more I have a more open mind for movies when it comes to weird movies. So Hello Chronicles. Thank you, JMC. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for participating. So come back next Wednesday so we continue the trivia. Join us. Join me if you want on Saturday mornings at 9. Join us for Pop Into 10 to on do Mondays Navy Flake. On Mondays at 8. Mondays mm -hmm. at 8 so with the live chat. And um, we'll do this again. Now, next week is the Richmond Pipe Show. So... We're going to be there. We're going to try to record. Hopefully, everything's going to go well live. If you know of anybody that you know can't make it to the show and would like to see it, let them know that they can tune in to us and we'll, we'll give them a tour. Uh, hopefully, we can do the Sutliff facility and we can do just go table by table like we did in the Ohio Pipe Show. Uh, you know, we do this for you guys, so definitely we would like people to know about it so that they can enjoy it. And also next Wednesday we'll do kind of a pre, uh, kind of pre-show kind of thing because we'll be leaving on Thursday, and we will want to know anybody that's going to the Richmond Pipe Show to reach out to let us know. We would like to meet you. You know, we we want to know when a, who of you is going there. I know there's some people that live very close to it, and I would love to know if if you guys are going to attend so that we can we can say hi. We already have a dinner. Uh uh, ENA's dad said he will take us to dinner, so okay. we, we, we'll say yes to that. Oh, yeah. 
we we had dinner with uh the tunnel take greg and and uh and our friend tom and that was great to go to dinner together so yeah it was fun. chronicles of a pipe maker Yay! hey i love your channel seeing how you know you're making those pipes you have a great channel and you're you are very um not only talented but you are very um you find different ways of making pipes and i like that i, I like that that's that's very neat how you do that so Thank you guys for coming. Anybody else came here last minute? Um, Rusty, you're coming Saturday morning. Great. The Usual Suspect. Yeah, that's yeah. One, that's one of my favorites. I haven't yeah. seen it. No way. It's a must. Oh, man. Yeah, the, we, we have yeah. to see we that have one a date. for sure. For sure. Thank you, Ed. Ed, I hope you figure out the smoke ring things that we were trying to figure out together. Uh, good luck with that. Let me know. Uh, well, I'm gonna go and. We want to do thank you for uh, being here and spending this time with us. And if you are first timer here, we will appreciate if you uh, become our friends, permanent friends. Um, don't forget to give us thumbs up, and don't forget to join us next. Join him, Black Cap, next Saturday at 9 a.m. Thank you so much. Blessings, and that's how we say, say it. <laughs>